This is the last section of the numerical methods chapter, applications to modeling. And all it's doing is taking everything that we've learned so far and applying it to a modeling question. So here is our function. Yeah, and it says that the price of a car uh, in pounds uh, it, X years after purchase is modeled by that function um, and obviously it's saying that X is greater than zero so we can't go backwards in time to work out its cost before purchase doesn't make any sense so part A uh, what we want to do is to use the model to find the nearest hundred pounds so we're gonna have to do some rounding of the car after 10 years of purchase so really all we need to do is to at substitute x equals 10 into that so we're just working out f of 10 basically so it's going to be 15,000 times by 0.85 to the power 10 minus 1000 sine at 10 so let's work that out now it doesn't actually say in this question whether sine is in degrees or the angles in degrees or radians it should do really it's actually in radians um, uh, yeah, that's the mode you need to have your calculators from now this gives you an exact value of three four nine seven one three seven blah, 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 blah. we wanted it to, to the nearest hundred so it's going to be three thousand five hundred pounds in part b if we want to show that there's a route between 19 and 20 so we need to work out f of 19 f of 20 so i'm actually just going to go back to what i just typed in and change the 10 to 19 the power and change the sine 10 to 19 rather than type the whole thing in again uh, that gives me five three four Point one one, so I'll get something that's greater than zero and just go back again and change the, the um, 19 to a 20 so just scroll back 19 to 20 and the same with the sign change that 19 to a 20 and I get negative three three one point five five so that's less than zero um, so that means that since there is a change of sign uh, from f of 19 to f of 20 there is at least one root in the interval 19 to 20. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means somewhere between the 19th and the 20th year, the value of the car goes down to zero. And I'm probably guessing that what we're going to be doing is working out exactly when during the 19th year the value goes. Um, below zero so it looks like we're going to be using uh, Newton Raphson so that's why in part C they're asking us to find f dash of x now to differentiate uh, this part here um, hopefully you'll remember from the differentiation chapter that if we have y equals a to the x and we want to find dy dx dy dx is equal to a to the x log a natural log a so that means that that first part is basically going to be 15,000 times by 0.85 to the x log 0.85 so that's that bit differentiated then we have uh, minus 1000 and sine differentiated becomes cos so cos 
x so there we go um, not can't really tidy that, that up in any way or we'll simplify it so we'll leave it like that yeah I suppose you could take that all of this here and write it as a power there's not much point um, we'll just leave it like that that's a 15,000 I think I've accidentally cut off the one so there's a one there okay part D so part D is saying uh, taking 19.5 as a first approximation apply the newton raston method once to obtain a second approximation right so that we know that x0 is going to be 19.5 so let's write that down 19.5 newton raston now i'm pretty sure this is in the formula book is our next approximation is going to be the previous approximation minus um, f of x so that's just whatever our original function was 15,000 0.85 to the power x minus a uh, thousand sine x over f dash of x which we just worked out which is 15,000 times by 0.85 whoops let's tidy that up there 0.85 to the power x uh, log 0.85 minus 1000 cos x um, and we've got our x0 so to get x1 we just plug x0 or we plug 19.5 where we have x so that gives me 19.5279 like that uh, give your answer to three decimal places so 19.528 19.528 um, so that seems like about halfway through the 19th year that's when like the car's value is zero that's why you should never buy um, maybe a car that's 19 year old in fact probably never buy a new car because you, the best value is when you get a car um after maybe a year or two when you've had that big drop in value if you buy a new car you're paying all the extra if, if you were to buy a car drive it out of the car showroom a new car and then turn around and self change your mind if you'd lose money straight away thousands of pounds so why lose that money let somebody else lose that money in my opinion never buy a new car anyway Apart from the car advice, E, criticise this model with respect to the value of the car as it gets older. Well, um, after um, the 19th year uh, into the 20th year, we would get, we would get a negative value for the car so something like that it, you know after 19 19 is when you get to 20 years basically you're going to get a negative value for the car and you know that's that's ridiculous so after after 19 years really the the, the model really breaks down and uh, is nonsensical Right, you should now be able to do exercise 10D on pages 287 to 289. So remember, uh, newton raphson which I'm pretty sure is in the formula book, is this. And you'll be using that to um, solve problems.